Hello, I'm Cybex author and Stormwind Studio instructor, William Panic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add additional settings to a group policy management console. Now, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to add the Office 2013 ADMX files to the group policy management central store. This way, anytime we create a new GPO, we'll be able to manipulate the Office 2013 settings. At this time, there's nothing on this system for Office 2013. Now, I've gone ahead and downloaded the appropriate files from Microsoft. It's an application file. All I did is went out to Google. I searched GPO settings for Office 2013. It took me right to their website. I downloaded the 64-bit file, and I put it in my downloads directory. So let's go ahead and let's jump on out to the server and I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're going to go on to the Group Policy Management Console. And once we're in the Group Policy Management Console, I'm going to go in and I'm going to create a new GPO. And that GPO, I'm just going to call it for now, I'm just going to call it Test. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to click on it and go in and say Edit. Now when I click on the policies and I click on the administrative templates, you'll see that there are no policies, no settings for Office. So let's go ahead and let's fix that. So I'll delete that GPO. I'm going to close the Group Policy Management Console down. I'm going to go to my downloads and this is the file I downloaded from Microsoft. Admin template 64 bit. Now this is for Office 2013. All you have to do is double click on it. And when you double click on it, it's going to ask you to extract the files. Now you can extract the files to a subfolder, to the downloads directory. You can put them anywhere you want. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to extract them right to this downloads Office GPO. So I'm going to click on my downloads directory, click on Office, and say OK. And it'll take a second, but it extracts the files for me. Now I'm going to have to move two sets of files. I'm going to click on the ADMX files. Now these are the files right here that we need for all of our Office settings, the ADMX files. But I'm also going to have to go into the English US and I have to move the ADML files. These are the definition files that explain what those other files do. So where do you got to move these files to? Well, let me show you. I'll move this over a little bit and I'm going to open up another Explorer. And what you got to do is you got to go to the C drive windows and then you go to policy definitions right here. Now, the ADMX files are going to be stored right here with the ADMX files. The ADML files get stored here under the English US. So, let's go ahead and just move this over. And I'm going to take the ADML files and I'm going to move them to the ADML English US file. I'll copy these. I'm going to paste them. And I'll paste those in. And then I'm going to go back one directory and I'm going to grab the ADMX files and put the ADMX files here with the other ADMX files. So I'll click on this, click on Word, I'm going to say copy, come over here, paste, and paste those files in. So now all of the files, all the ADMX files, are under the policy definition directory. And all of the ADML files, which were here under the English US, are under the English US. And that's all there is to it. Now what I've done is I've added these files to the Group Policy Management Central Store. Now what that means is every time I go out to create a new GPO, it'll give me the option to use those Office files the office settings inside the group policy management console. So let's go back out and let's 
create a new GPO. So we're going to go back into our Group Policy Management Console. Under New Hampshire, I'm going to create a GPO. And again, I'll call it Office, just so that we know this is going to be specifically for Office. Oh, I already have one named Office, so let's go uh, Office 2013. There we go. Then I'm going to click on it, right click and say edit. And when I come in to the settings, when I click on policies and I click on my admin policies, you'll now see that we have new policies that have to deal with just Office 2013. So here's the access, Excel, and at that point I can go in. So if I want to set stuff specifically for Word, I would just click on here, and at that point I can go in and I can set all of my configuration settings for Word. So what we've done is we've added the Office GPO settings right into the central store. So at this point, any time that we want to create a GPO, the Office settings will be there for us. So in this video, I downloaded the Office 2013 GPO files from Microsoft, the template files. I extracted those files and then I moved them under the Windows Policy Definitions directory and we've now added those files into the central store. If you are looking for additional live online training where there is a live instructor in front of you, check out www.stormwindstudios.com. You can always contact me at www.willpanic.com or through Cybex if you're going through one of my books. And please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube page, www.youtube.com forward slash she slow uh, forward slash William Panic. I am Stormwind Studios instructor and Cybex author, William Panic. Thanks for watching the video.